The carrot family comprises over 3,700 species, four of which can be found in the lanes near where I live. The hedgerows seem to be swathed in lace, Queen's Anne lace to be precise, the other name for cow parsley. Look carefully at the stems, there are no blotches. If there were, it would be hemlock, a highly poisonous plant. The leaves are finely divided. The stems are hollow. And at the top, there is a flattened flower head. The petals are of various sizes. The flowers are highly aromatic and there is a scent of aniseed in the air. Some of the petals have already fallen, leaving the urn-shaped seed pods. Although it may seem that there is only Queen Anne's lace in these hedgerows, a closer inspection reveals the broader leaves of hogweed. Until recently, this was a plant harvested to be fed to pigs, hence its name, and the young leaves are considered to be a delicacy for humans, with taste, I'm told, something of asparagus. The flowers are, are, have petals of various sizes, but a rather unpleasant odour. The detail, however, of these flowers is exquisite, as we see the anthers and the petals. A little further on still, and hidden amongst the cow parsley, is wild angelica, a lime green plant at this time of the year with the flowers just emerging. It is a highly aromatic plant which is said to have a warm and ar aromatic taste and a very agreeable smell. The final of our four carrots is found near the remains of an oak tree, a small cluster of pignuts, a plant that was once used as a food. It's the tuber, the underground tuber, uh, that is important, and pigs were used to uh, root them out, hence its name. The flowers bear close observation exquisite detail uh, to end our walk and to have discovered four carrots within 400 metres of my front door.